Greetings and salutations, universe. This is Greta, and this is Feed the Beast Interactions. In the last episode, we finished off getting the Radon Chicken. And as you can see, Radon is coming in just as a slow and steady a drip. Uh, so I believe that we just need to give this thing probably like a nether star and some other stuff and uh, we should be seeing some improved thingamabobs. So let's uh, grab another star. We're gonna grab one of those and we're gonna grab an ender pearl. Um, or is it an eye of ender? It might be an eye of ender. Eye. Um, those are the two things that radon can improve. We can now see it improving as well as this battery uh, charging. For some reason it needs to have energy flowing through it sometimes to sort of convince it to get energy kind of kicked into it. Don't quite understand how that functions, but uh, it, it does. I, uh, I finally did fill all of these with batteries, so now when I'm impatient, I can speed this process up. So there was our improved guy. Let's toss in the nether star and grab out the improved ender eye. Oh, lag spike. Uh-oh. There we go, improved Ender Eye along with the Radon mission complete. And so I can grab the actual little Radon Chicken. Cool, that part is complete. In fact, I think I might kill one um, just to make sure that we complete the quest. Uh, he will drop the little egg, the Radon Egg, and I don't care about that. So we'll just sort of toss that back in. That is a quest complete on a that. Perfect, so that gives me another Ender Eye improved one. Um, apparently this is its own thing, so gourmet burger, ooh, along with some Radon. I don't mind that. Um, the burger, you can go away for a rainy day. Uh, let's see, how is the blood chicken doing? I also put that into the processor, so we should have a plenty of this stuff. And there is a 10-10-10 bloody chicken. But we still need to breed that up. So let's just give that plenty of stuff. Let's see, there's, I only need two, two stacks of those. So 32 of those. Okay, I think the math works out there. As for the other guys, we have what we need from those. Those can just go away. Perfect. So now that we have these improved ender eyes, what again can we do with them? Uh, well, we can make field generators. No, we can't. We need a osmium. What about flux cores? We need... That doesn't look terrible. Um, in fact, that looks possible. And I think, I think that flux cores is kind of like a critical uh, stage in our journey. Um, eventually, we'll be able to power stuff wirelessly with flux plugs, I think. Um, I think it can come out as EU, so it's going to be curious if we are able to achieve that. Ah, remember, drink your water, guys. Stay hydrated. Um, all right, so what else can we do with improved ender eyes? Ooh, we can make cubit stuff, but I don't know about gallium arsenide. I might have to look into... Uh, how to even make that stuff. Gallium, arsenic. Arsenic is cobalite. I might have that somewhere. Hmm. Um, in any case, there is a whole bunch of stuff, but probably the primary thing is these draconic cores. That's what I'm after. Um, so the question is, do I have the other stuff? I most certainly don't have quantum, or I do have the nano processors, I think. These ones are the base level EV processors. So we do have the capability to make those. I might work on making quantum processors, but we want to look at how to get some tungsten in this episode. So what's the process there? Um, if I understand it, we have to take moon dust, like moon turf, and we starlight transmutation it, whatever that means. Um, the moon turf into end stone. Take the end stone and I think we put it in an infernal deconglomerator. Whatever that is. So we need this machine. 
and then we start getting tungstate dust. Oh, and helium. That'll be nice. I actually legitimately want large sums of helium. Um, so that'll make me a happy camper. So far I was making it from noble gas, and that's reasonable. It makes quite a bit of it, but um, a nice steady source of it could also be quite fantastic. So let's first figure out how to get end stone. Moon turf, let's grab some of that. Stack of that will do fine. And then we're going to want a prism. Though I think all that jazz is up in the sky. Uh, what time is it? I actually want it to be nighttime, but I think the day is rising. Yeah, day is rising. Um, I want to make another crystal, but that requires nighttime. Um, how are you doing? Liquid nightmares, 131 buckets. Yeah, that was from like nine uh, drops of evil. So I am happy with that. Um, can we convince it just to happen via the lens? Just plop her on down right here, get a linking tool back. Surprised that we're using the linking tool this much, but you know. Uh, unlinked all links. No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Linked, 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 and let's try this moon turf to a block. What happens now? So that might be too much for this collector crystal uh, to function, but with any luck that might, I mean, I see particles on the moon turf. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I just speed up, stopped linking, but it's all right. So I, I, I'm finished with that. Let's see, speed up that maybe? Speed up that? I don't know, kind of making it up as I go. I don't know if that's how we do this. Is it not? Does it just take a long time? I don't know. I'll be right back after I've given in a moment. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, well, definitely want the crystal. Oh, I'm getting impatient. This is taking so long. This collector crystal is going to be amazing, I think. I think. Maybe this will be able to turn the uh, stuff into endstone. There we go. Perfect. And let's put this somewhere. Hmm. Right, right here will work. Beautiful. And uh, hook it up to something, right? Um, well, this one's clearly not working. So let's just unlink that and link it back up over here and place this moon turf uh, somewhere else, right? What's this linked to? Oh, the light well. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so if we come over here, oop, uh, I love that plate, but it's so trolly. It trolls myself. So we just have to jump back up and whoop, 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 and here we are. Okay, let's see. What do we need here? Uh, we're going to put down the moon uh, uh, turf. Perfect. Place it and link it. And now we should be getting, uh, come on, let's link it. There we go. Okay. Now it should work, right? 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 Come on. Why aren't you working? Figure it out. Oh man, I am a mega derp. Oh. So this thing needed starlight. I'm wondering if this prism lens needs starlight as well, but uh, or access to the sky, right? Oh, astral sorcery just confuses me so much. It drives me crazy that certain blocks need access to the sky and certain ones don't. And I can't tell the difference. So maybe I should just get rid of the whole ceiling. In any case, I put the, the, the crystal up there and now we're gonna jump down here and show what I learned. This moon turf is getting starlight from this celestial crystal. And yes, it is getting access to the sky. These are architecture slabs, um, right? 
So now, hopefully you'll be able to see this get turned into endstone. Totally has starlight, it's been working, it works. I'm happy it works. We do have a scanner, oh, it, it just changed, right? So endstone is the current block detected, and when that is detected, it has a redstone signal that goes through this conduit collector to this block breaker right here. And this guy is working beautifully. We're now getting endstone along with a random brick that broke, don't worry about it. Um, Endstone is there, brilliant. And then all we have to do is supply it with moon turf in this block placer, which places whenever there's no block because it's trying all the time. This is an excellent system. And uh, speaking of that crystal, we totally completed this quest. And this guy has a trophy along with some food, yum yum. Another trophy, I'm so excited. Uh, whenever we get a new trophy, it just makes me a little happy and giddy another thing that we've collected so going down the tube to the monument the trophy monument still need to work on this but uh let's get this placed in its spot yes how many are we at right one two three four five six seven so that's uh 14 and i think there's 28 in total so we are halfway theoretically as far as the trophies are concerned and i really should make this thing look better but uh you know Moving along, um, now that we have the end stone, we really need to figure out a way to turn it into something useful, right? We we know that we need to build this infernal conglomerate, disconglomerate, blah, 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 right? The deconglomerator, and this is quite the, the construction. Um, we could do it via pulverization, but I really, this is the way to do it. Look at all this stuff. Um, I've already collected the machine controller, dynamic tanks, arcane stone slabs, etc. Now what we really need is the nether brick stuff. So let's just go there, right? Um, and, uh, and we're going to have a fantastic time. Um, uh, yeah, you know? Yeah, let's just do it. Jump, jump, and we're going to go onto this teleporter. But I don't think, yeah, it doesn't have the right crystal in it. We're going to jump. And place that in there shift clicking and into the nether we go after a momentary lag spike and wobbity wobbity wooda 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 and uh, let's just fly off in a random direction shall we um though is there a is there a fortress this way there isn't well poor decision let's go off to the left a little bit and there will be one this way I'm sure of it um, that or will just fly forever until we see one but uh, this works. Where are you, Nether Fortress? Oh, there you are. Perfect. Wop -de -wop -de -wop -de -wop. Um, I like this place. Uh, it, it's a little bit less painful now that I have the uh, Twilight Cloak, but there we go. All right, Nether Brick and the Nether Brick Fences. Uh, yeah, that's what they're called. Um, we probably need like what 16 or 14 or something silly of them 32 i don't know just grab a bunch perfect and the stone slabs uh or the brick slabs anyway um okay let's see 14 no four yeah 14 fences and the bricks can get turned into slabs so we'll see you when we do so where is that teleporter all right so Considering we have endstone coming out here, and we need this infernal deconglomerator de somewhere, I think that down here will be a perfect spot in this little nook. Um, all our modular machines are sort of around it, and uh, well, I do really want to move this guy. He's kind of just weird, but um, everything else I like. So it should fit in here nicely, especially considering this evaporation evaporating tower is about four wide, which is the same length. And up here, we can just snake in the end stone using Ender IO conduits, and it should be real nice and pretty. Um, and by pretty, I mean terrible, but behind the scenes. So let's take a look at what it takes to build this. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, it's a four by what, seven? Perfect. All right, let's just try and build this thing, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, I think I'm almost there. All we need to do is place these slabs and see if I've messed up. Please don't mess up. Oh, 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 it worked! Oh, it worked! Yes! I can't believe that did. I always assume it just is a total failure. 
All right. Whoa. Nice. Everything looks good. Outputs on the left, inputs on the right. I did put a, a basic steam turbine here and we're wasting a thing. I guess I could have checked it from underneath. I just wanted to make sure it had energy. No wasted energy, just a wasted uh, little cable here. And we have a spot for mana, so let's toss that in there and we're going to immediately have it go into this mana input hatch. Fantastic speeder up. Uh, come on, go, 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 go. Beautiful. Um, so now that is going to work for quite some time. Um, the length I'm not so certain on, but that should be okay. Oh dear. Um, cool. So now we just need to make sure that it has the stuff. Um, I'll wire that in a moment, but for right now, I'll just grab it manually. And oh, I definitely need to go get more uh, moon stuff. Oh, was the sound off? No. All right, there we go. Sweet. Uh, that that's a little loud, but uh, eh, yeah, no, that's 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 a little bit too loud, right? Yeah. Okay. A little bit lower. There we go. Eh, more. Okay. Perfect. A little bit of sound is good. Um, all right. In go the items, and we should see processing progress. Perfect. I like it. Oh, that that was a little while in the making. Um, we're getting helium. Sweet. I'll uh, hook that up with our blast furnace. Not a problem. And here, <gasps> tongue state. Perfect. There we go. Now all we have to do is figure out what to do with this stuff, right? So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, a little bit of time has passed and we have gotten some e excellent amounts of tongue state. Not a ton, but enough to get us started. Um, I even filled it up with more uh, moon tough stuff. Uh, we hooked up the helium, even got the ME interface in so it's gone to our system. I still need to set up the packager and all like the ore processing. I'm just putting that off. Um, and perfect. Everything, even this is uh, cabled up. I like it. Lots of end stone and I think it's still working. Um, it has run out of mana though and I'm a little bit I have no idea how to even tell how much is in here or if it needs it at this point. Um, so if it stops working, that'll answer my question. If it doesn't, that'll uh, keep the question open, I guess. All right, but we have this stuff. What do we do with it? Uh, compressor, definitely not. None of this stuff looks right. Oh, did I complete a quest for this? Brilliant, hot tungsten ingot. I definitely don't wanna grab that right away. Um, we're going to put that into our system immediately. So grab that hot tungsten. Ow, hot, 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 hot. Okay. So what do we do with this stuff in reality? Um, we need to electrolyze it. With an EV electrolyzer, eh, that's no problem. I got all this stuff ready. Pop, and here it is. Quest complete. Hey, how about that? I like quests. Uh, explosive progress. Huh. Oh, for like iridium and stuff? Huh, I might look into that. Um, HV... That's the alien stone. Oh, it gave us some more. Sweet. I didn't realize I completed this many quests. Uh, but hey, I'll take it. Pristine dragon matter. Oh, I can make some stuff with that, can't I? Come on. What can I make with that? Yeah, dragon eggs. Um, is that necessary? I don't know. Dragon's breath might be good. I don't know what is more important right now. So we'll just wait on processing that. Not a problem. Infused ender pearl. Okay, I guess. Uh, toss that in there as well. But what we need to do is hook up this electrolyzer. Um, I don't know how permanent it needs to be. So when in doubt, make a temporary spot. Slap her on down there. And we're gonna put the, it in right there. Um, oh, it needs something, doesn't it? Please don't be hydrogen. Oh. Why does it always have to be hydrogen? Thankfully, I do have 2.3 thousand buckets. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, man, has to be hydrogen every time, doesn't it? Um, I wish there was a really good way of making hydrogen. There probably is, and I probably don't know it, but uh, that's okay. There we go, hook that up, and now it is processing. Um, I definitely want a crystal. Do we have a Lapatron one? Beautiful. Plonk that in there. And that way, when I get tired of waiting, um, we'll be able to accelerate that. But we can't right now, unfortunately. Um, 
Can we tick accelerate it just a smidgen to get it to 100%? Will it, will it take it? Come on. And here we go. Our first proper tungsten. It also gives us, us lithium. Um, I'm a big fan of lithium, so uh, that's excellent. Perfect. That's really shiny, that crystal. I don't like seeing it that shiny. Um, so this tungsten, is there anything fancy to it? Nope, not fancy at all. How? Why is that so long? Why? Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? I don't like that at all. At all. But uh, I guess we just have to deal with it. Processing. Uh, blast furnace. Make that. Beautiful. Um, tungsten. I've already set up the thing for the cooling of it. So that is excellent. Um, let's take this crafting thing. Um, which one of these guys uses more energy? I think this one. This one makes EV, whereas these other ones are hooked up to 2x HV, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, plonk this recipe down. Oh, I just put that into the config, so now it's actually cooking it up, I think. Progress. Idling. Is it not in the input? Huh. I don't know what I just put in here. Oh, I probably, huh, I don't know, figure it out later. Um, we're just going to do this manually, toss in, oh, it was the tungsten. Tungsten, come back. I guess I'll make it. Um, so we'll craft eight of these right now. Perfect, start that up, and then we'll start the hot tungsten ingot process. So this is going to take our one tungsten uh Bella. and now we should see this in here tungsten dust idling why you idle blast furnace tungsten hot temperature might be the next hurdle um temp what are we looking at for temperature or was it the um coil coil uh Oh, the canthal only goes to 2,700, so we need to go to nichrome or better. Definitely not going to tungsten steel right now. Um, what could we... Can we make HSSG? Whatever the heck that stuff is. Wire mill, ingot, vacuum freezer, HSSG. What temperature do you need? You need a ton as well. Ugh. Ugh. All right. We have to go with has to be the the nichrome so i got to make a whole bunch of nichrome at least enough to replace the center block but they're all connected so i might just do them all at one time well still this was the production of tungsten and uh we have a new multi-block oh look how cool this is rock on woohoo now as cool as this tank is which is just the evaporation tank um, this is unfortunately going to have to be the end of the episode. Oh, 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 oh. but rejoice, rejoice. Okay. Woohoo. Um, because we accomplished a lot in this episode, we figured out something that I should have figured out a long time ago with astral sorcery. And, uh, we also did a whole new multi-block and now we are getting tungsten. Woohoo. All right. Hope you guys are having a good time. Stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye!